Hi, uh, this is IMDL Fall 2012 with Drs. Arroyo and Schwartz. My name is Ilan Eskinasi. My robot name is Mares Hand. It will uh, detect uh, muscle activation signals uh, in my forearm muscles. It's supposed to be a, a prosthetic hand for uh, wrist disarticulation amputees. And it can perform several functions. It can uh, open and close. When I open, uh, extend and extend the hand, uh, <coughs> it plots sensor information in the screen. So when I extend, you can see the screen, for example, how I, it moves the, a bar. Uh, it has buttons, so I can change the screen and display different sensors. Sensor 1, 2, 3. It displays uh, for sensitive resistor information. So these two pads here are for, uh, for sensitive resistors. Another screen will activate or deactivate the uh, force feedback mode, which will detect when uh, the uh, force sensors exceed a certain threshold of force. And in that case, it will stop the hand and just servos will hold. So it will be a soft grip. Uh, and the last screen displays the uh, which finger is selected. So in this case, the pinky is selected. I can open and close it. Uh, if I activate my uh, extensor digitorum, which is the extensor of the finger, I can change the index. So now I change to the thumb. And I can change index finger. So you can, if you're not very well trained, you can accidentally activate your muscles. So you can change index. You can also open and close while changing the index. So, like that. Sorry. Um, okay, so now I guess I'm going to for, uh, show you the, uh, the force feedback mode. So I'm going to activate it here. So it says on. Now I want to see what's the finger selected. So first I'm going to select all the fingers. So opening. I'm gonna show you. I'm going to try to hold this thing which is kind of soft. So you see it, it stopped there when it reached a certain force. Just to show you the difference, I'm going to deactivate the force feedback mode. I'm going to flex again. So now it has a full grip, which is stronger. Does anyone want to see anything in particular? Yeah, yeah. Okay, open it up. Okay, can, can we see the force feedback? Yeah. Um, right. you, can, you can also touch it and see what happens. Stick your hand and see. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good thing. So there's okay, the don't block the LCD. Okay, so let me just see. So if I do it, Okay, hold on a second. So if I press it, hold it, stop, stop, stop. So this is the sensors themselves. So hold on, it's, it's not on. I mean, I deactivated it. So I put it on and display the FSR. Okay. Green on yellow makes me not a happy fellow. Yeah, so it's not chosen. Okay, hold on. It's still on. Okay, so you want to grip it. Try to grab it. Is it force feedback on now? Yeah. Okay, so it'll grip kind of soft until I. Yeah, until you push it out the edge. Well, so now I change the finger by, by accident. Okay, we'll fix it. Let me see what I can Is that going to fake? Or do you want all of them? Yeah, right? yeah do whatever you want to do. I'm going to fake it anyway. So nice. I pushed hard and it stopped. Yeah. Okay, now do it again. So it opens and then it'll close again. Okay. So, so I verified what you just said. Very cool. Uh, you can also do force feedback with only like the thumb, for example. Oh, so I changed it to index. Okay. Now I changed to middle. Oh. So, oh, so depending on how you adjust this, you can have a little cross tug between the muscles. So, beautiful. Okay. Any other questions?
Good job.